Hello everyone, welcome back to my stock channel. Now from this tutorial, we are going to start the listeners, that is event handling listener. At the first, at uh, the topic, we have seen the delegation event model. There were two entities, that is source and the listener, where the listeners would take the request from the source for the event handling and will respond. Okay, so this was the work of a listener, so it should be registered, the sources must be registered to one or more listeners. Okay, so regarding the same, we are going to see a different listeners. And if you see a syllabus copy, in that there is a uh, adapter class inner class and then this listener but firstly i have took the listener this subtopic because whatever this depending on this this listener only the adapter class is there so for that purpose i have taken the listener and after completing the all the listeners we will turn towards the adapter class so here the first listener which i have took is a action listener as in the event event classes we have seen the action event class so regarding the same for that purpose, we are going to use the action listener. And just remember, these are all the listeners are not a class. They are the interfaces. Just remember your first point I have to, these all the listeners, whatever we are going to see from this video, they will be the interfaces. So we have to implement the listener whenever we are going to perform the action on the button, menu item. And whenever we are going to click or have an action, we are going to select something, we are going to have a double click on text field. So regarding that, we are going to use this, implement this action listener. Now here if you see, we are, if you are using this uh, action listener, you have to override which method. This is the method of action listener. This is action performed, action event A. So this method you have to use if you wanted to perform some action on this particular uh, controls. Okay, whenever you are going to use action event class. So in the action event, here you have to specify the method as we are using action perform of action listener. So this was regarding our action listener. So now next we will see our atom listener. And now here the next listener which I have took is our atom listener. So in the event class we have seen the atom event. So that we are going to pass here as a reference of our atom event definitely. And we are to going to implement the atom listener when we are going to perform the actions on radio button, list, checkbox and etc. Or the checkable menu item that. Okay. So regarding that we are going to use this atom listener. We are going to implement implement the atom listener and we are going to use the method we are going to override which method atom state changed just remember this method because these methods are very important so by doing the problems regarding the event handling first yeah. you have to obviously have to import the package java dot dot event dot asterisk then you have to implement this atom listener and then you have to override the methods along with this and you have to pass the atom event so before this what exactly we have to do before the method we have to register this source with a listener that is using add types listener that whatever the listener is there we are going to use so that first we have to register means on what exactly component we are going to perform the action that must first be registered with a listener so this was regarding the atom listener so regarding the same if you have any kind of question you can mention in the comment section and thank you so much for watching this video thank you